Hey YouTube, today I want to talk about some very controversial news that we recently discovered. Um, as you all know, the recent event ended and we had a maintenance um, to update the game. Uh, K-Lab usually uploads like a month's worth of event assets um, just at the um, end of like an event maintenance. Uh, we usually have access to like the the event banners for the next month. So, um, we actually, f here, um, you can see the next event is going to be Hanukkah's smiling, uh, token event. This is no surprise, um, we're just following, um, what happened in the Japanese schedule last year. But, what's of interest and of controversy is this, uh, this next banner. It's clearly round 19 score match. Um, but it features both Ellie and Rin. Um, they both had score matches in succession. Um, Ellie's score match was actually number 19, whereas Rin was number 20. So as you can see here, um, this is the original Japanese, um, banner for the event last year for Ellie. Score match 19. And here is the original one for score match 20 for Rin. Now, what's interesting is that um, there's this theory going on that K-Lab English wants to accelerate the game. Um, they want to catch up to the Japanese version as fast as possible, and that makes a lot of sense because of all the new Aqua hype and uh, the anime coming out soon, and especially they released like, this notice um, in-game that says that they would release Aqua R cards into Honor Scouting in the coming month or so um, in the summer. Um, so by accelerating these events, um, by putting like two SRs instead of one for each event, um, you can actually like make a month of progress into two months. So uh, in terms of events, if they did do two SRs like two girl SRs per event, we would most likely catch up to the Japanese version in approximately eight months. I say around eight months because I have this theory that um, only score matches and medleys will have like the combined, uh, the combined uh, two SRs because it wouldn't make too much sense if, uh, if for example, the event song was uh, Magnetic Today and it featured Nico and Nozomi, for example, because I don't I don't recall exactly, but I I think Magnetic Today happened, and then Moshimo Karakito, or maybe some other order. Um, the the whole point is, um, it just wouldn't make any sense to have two featured girls in a token event, but it makes a lot of sense for score matches and medleys because those events don't introduce any new songs. So the only question left is, is this real? Like, is this a mistake by K-Lab? K-Lab English has been known to make mistakes very often, but I personally think that it's not a mistake, simply because it's a lot harder to get a, like, graphical error rather than, like, a typo. Um, if it was, like, a typo, uh, then it would be understandable that it could be an error, but considering it's, like, edited graphics, um, the, the graphic for the event banner is essentially Rin's, uh, score match 20 banner, but they, like, cropped out Rin, um, the unidolized Rin, put it on the right, and then they cropped the Ellie from score match 19 unidolized and put it on the left. So... Really, um, it's just a matter of how will events, how will, like, tiering work in this sense. Uh, because, as we know, um, if we do get the 4.0 update soon, sooner rather than later, then we have access to idolization through seals rather than getting two copies. So, my theory for this, uh, um, like, double SR event kind of thing is that for tier 2, you get a second copy of one of the SRs, and for Tier 1, you get the second copy for the other one. So if you got Tier 1, you would get two copies of the Rin and two copies of the Ellie, whereas if you got Tier 2, you would probably only get, like, 
uh, I'd assume two copies of Ellie and one copy of Ren or something like that, or vice versa, who knows. Um, but I do look forward to the next, next event, just to see if this, uh, this will become a trend, because, uh, if, if this is not an error, then we would expect the Umi and the Katori Medley Festivals to also be combined. Because, like I was saying before, um, it makes so much sense to combine two score match and medley SRs since they don't introduce any new songs. But I still think if they go this route, they have to let the, the token events be single SRs. Because otherwise it just wouldn't make any sense unless, uh, unless the particular token song was like a duet. So Magnetic Today could feature Nico and Amaki, but then um, that might mess things up for like future combinations. Who knows? But... Uh, that's, that's it from me. I, I want to hear from you. What do you think about this? Do you think this is good or bad? Um, personally, I think uh, this is good because uh, the sooner we catch up to JP, the, the better. Um, I think the one kind of, like, thing left in our mind is how is scouting going to work in the future? Because if you accelerate events and you don't accelerate scouting, then... Um, you have this kind of, like, duality going on where even though the events are up to date with JP, the scouting is still, uh, still going to be, like, a year behind or approximately, like, eight months behind. So maybe for future sets, they'll have all nine of the girls featured at once, which is kind of bad since it makes it harder to get um, specific cards. Like, if you were... If you wanted to like scout for Marine Umi or Marine Nozomi and they just combined and combine both pools together, then like the chances of getting that particular UR is essentially halved. So I suppose that's the trade-off um, for accelerating the game, but overall I think this is this could potentially be a good thing. But what do you think? Um leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. I do read all your comments, even if I don't reply to all of them. Um and yeah, uh Thanks for watching, and I look forward to any more potential news, and I will keep you updated uh, if it arises. But for now, I'll see you next time.